everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J, and today I am overviewing Gwen Stefani's new line, Give by Gwen. I am so excited to try out these pieces from Give by Gwen, and I know a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, another celebrity line, but I was like, you know what? I actually am surprised that it took Gwen Stefani this long to come out with the line because she is a celebrity that I heavily associate with glam and makeup and just being edgy. So I'm really surprised that she never had a line before. I know she did a collaboration before because I have the Urban Decay X Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette and I did a video on this so long ago. I don't even know if it's still up on my channel. I'll have to go look. This was her original baby that she did in collaboration with Urban Decay years ago. And here Here's the palette oh my goodness so looking at this palette I see where she pulled inspiration to create the pieces for her own line because even this blue right here the blue eyeliner that she launched is the same hue of blue and then some of the quads that she came out with they're the same quads here I think that this line is true to Gwen Stefani's essence we have red lipsticks here we have eyeliners I have two out of the four quads and then she came out with two different brow pencils I got the one that was the more unique one the one with the curve so I'm gonna be testing that out and of course I'm gonna walk you through my look so let me know what you you all think about this launch down in the comment section are you surprised when Stefani came out with the line or were you just waiting on it let me know what you think let's go ahead and get into the demonstration and I hope that you all enjoy let's do our brows with the most deaf instant definition brow pencil let's brush our brows up because it does have a spoolie on the opposite side of the brow product and when I first saw this brow product, I was really intrigued because I've never seen anything that looks quite like this. The shape is really unique. It says that it's chisel tipped and it's supposed to keep its shape. Okay. All right, it's fitting along the natural curvature of my brow, I will tell you that. And it is thin enough where I can go in and draw in brow-like strokes. I'm going in with a pretty light hand and so far, it's pretty pigmented. I grabbed the shade number five. That's a pretty good match. It's kind of easy to go overboard because <laughs> it's pretty pigmented. I think I just did a lot. I'm gonna go in and clean it up. This is my regular brow. This is what I just drew on. Pretty spot on color, but it's super pigmented. And I will say that it still has its chiseled shape. I do though need to shape them with some concealer because I feel like I just put on way too much brow. It's just too much brow coming at you. So I'm just gonna go underneath with a little bit of concealer just to give myself some structure and take away some of that brow products. I have Danger Zone and Just a Girl. Which one? I'm going to use both. From Just a Girl, I'm gonna go in with Destiny first and a blending brush. Let's take that in the crease. Ooh, okay. I actually want to kind of take it out, almost like a wing. Boom, like that. I'm gonna take just a touch of Too Late, just a little bit, and pop that right underneath my brow. Like as a matte cream highlight. Uh-oh, I think I've been saying the names backwards. I hate when brands don't coordinate the colors in a way that makes sense when you turn it around. It's like they put it backwards. So in my crease, I think I just put Lucky Me. I put Your Ghosts right underneath my brow bone. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Big Surprise, same blending brush, and I'm gonna take that right in the crease, right up underneath the other color to intensify it. Give it a little bit of oomph to it. Now I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of Secrets, and I mean just a touch of it, and tap that right on the outer corner. And then I'll build it up slowly because this is a deeper shade with glitter. So you don't wanna go in with too much on the brush at first, so you can minimize fallout. Glitter and matte shades very rarely, if ever, translates onto the lid like that. Back into Just a Girl with a flat shader brush, and I'm gonna take the shade Destiny. I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner and then blend it up. Just the Girl, let's pick up Pink Ribbon. I'm gonna pack that on the lid in my empty space up to the crease. Take your time and pack it on. If you need to, go back in with that deep shade 
and just tap over that line so everything is blended. Now I want to take the eyeliner. This, oh, well, I just threw it on the ground, so now I have to sharpen it. Now's as good a time to ever to tell you that this is a sharpenable pencil. It's a gel liner. It's waterproof, okay? Sharpen it up, get it back to a point. This one is spider webs. I'm just going to take that on my top lid. It's very creamy, okay? Just going to line right across. I've used this eyeliner formulation a few times the blue one already and let me tell you it's on there once it's on there it's there and it's super intense super creamy super black liner and lashes on i'm gonna go back into destiny wrap that around on the lower inner corner and let's go back into the danger zone quad and take the shade never know and i'm gonna take that all the way across the lower lash line and connect it to the top. I'm so excited to take bath water, the blue liner in my waterline. I love a blue pop of color. Love it. And this is just so creamy. Eyes done. The rest of the makeup is touched up. Now let's try on some lips. The color is original recipe across the board. We just have different finishes of the same red lip. I have all three lips. Let's start off with the satin one first. Smells like sugar cookies. Okay. I can smell the sweetness of this lip product. It's pretty potent, but I don't mind it because it smells like something that is edible. This feels very rich on the lips. It has a certain level of feeling there. It's not heavy or anything like that, but I can just tell that it's on my lips. It feels like a gel, so it's on there. And I appreciate that, especially in a red lipstick. You don't want it to be traveling. It's very cushiony. It feels comfortable. The color payoff is vivid and rich. I think it's a really pretty lip. Now let's try on the matte lipstick. Again, same color, but in a velvety matte finish. This one still is pretty fragrant, but it's not as sweet as the other one. Ooh. Very velvety. I like the finish. I like the color payoff. It feels very weightless on the lips. It doesn't feel moisturizing, but it doesn't feel dry. It just feels like I have nothing on and I can appreciate that. I think I've placed in my head what I think it smells like and this is very random. So as a child, I grew up taking Flintstone vitamins. Let me know if you all have ever taken them, but you know they smell kind of fruity, but they also smell kind of minerally because they're vitamins. This smells like that. <laughs> this smells like Flintstone vitamins. It's not bad or anything like that, but it literally smells exactly like that. But again, I like this color. I like this finish even more than the last one, simply because I personally enjoy a matte, vivid lip color. If I'm gonna wear bold, I like matte the most, but I can get down with a little bit of shine sometimes. I do enjoy the other one, but if I had to pick between the satin and the matte one, so far it's this one. Let's try on the liquid lipstick now. Yeah, my lips are a little bit stained, but that's all right. Y'all, I'm doing a reels at the same time that I'm filming, so hang tight. I got it on and it dries down. You give it a second, but you don't have to go over it with too many layers just because the initial time is gonna give you full opacity. Feels kind of tacky at first, but then it dries down completely matte. She's dried down, this is what she looks like now that she's completely and utterly done doing what she's gonna do. I low key like the liquid lipstick more than the other two because I missed liquid lipstick a little bit. You know, it was something that I kind of abandoned and now I'm like, hey, I missed that. And Gwen Stefani came in at the right time and gave me this beautiful matte red liquid lipstick. Now, it feels very weightless on the lips. I like the way that it feels. It's not too dry. If you rub your finger against your lips, it will transfer. It's not that dried down, which is good. It has a little bit of a transferability there, but not too much because it does feel and wear like a traditional liquid lipstick, but it does have a little bit of a, just a touch of a moisturizing element there, so it's not uncomfortable on the lips. I like the color, again, the color cleared on all three of the lip products. I think with this one, it wears well. I have worn it twice now. That should let you know that I am digging it, but I will say that just like other liquid lipsticks, throughout the day, it does start to crumble a little bit, just a little bit, because it does start to wear down, and the way that it wears down is that 
crumbles away as you're talking and rubbing your lips against one another and things of that nature but nothing too insane just wipe it off a little bit lick your lips wipe it off with the tissue and then you can reapply it and go on about your day very simple so let's zoom out and talk so what did give by gwen give let's talk about it let's start off with this brow pencil which i think is very unique I enjoyed using it. I was able to fill in my brows in a record time. I like the shade match. I got the shade number five. I feel like it matched my hair very well. I like a brow pencil to give me a little bit of warmth, but not be too red, and I don't want it to be ash brown. And I feel like they nailed the medium brown shade without making it too dark, which is kind of hard to do. A lot of brands don't do that. And I liked the consistency of this brow pencil. It gave me a beautiful glide, and I like the way that it looks and it wears. It looks very natural. It is a little bit larger, so if you are a person who needs precision, this is not going to be a brow pencil for you. She did come up with another brow variation. Go with that one. That one to me seems like it was the same formulation, but it was just a different shape. But for me, this brow pencil is amazing, and I can definitely see myself reaching for it on a daily basis. Next, we must talk about these eyeliners, which are my favorite things from the entire launch. These eyeliners are so good. They are so creamy, and they are budge proof they are not going anywhere you can use them on your top lid you can use them on your waterline and they are creamy so they glide on but once they dry down they are there so for those of you all who have sensitive eyes and you need an eyeliner that is not going to play around and smudge around this is perfect next let's talk about these eyeshadow quads I liked these eyeshadow quads, but they were a little bit drier. They have a little bit of crumble in them. So you put your brush in it and it kind of crumbles up. You can pack it on and get it to apply beautifully on the lid, but is it gonna crumble up before it does it? Yeah, and that's not exclusive to just this formulation. A lot of eyeshadow formulations do that. But I feel like for the price point, these aren't bad. I was able to work it. I think my eye look is gorgeous, but I do prefer the matte formulation from this line so far and I feel like like the shimmery eyeshadows could be a little bit more velvety let's get into these lips starting with the satin lipstick i like the satin lipstick it smells very fragrant very much so like fruit candy something like that i can feel this the most on the lips it feels very moisturizing i like it and i can see myself wearing it it looks really beautiful it's very gwen traditional red lipstick that she loves to wear i grew up watching her wear red lipsticks like this so i think it's fun to have a piece of her in my collection and then next i like the traditional matte lipstick the only thing that I don't like about this one is the smell, just because it smells like Flintstone vitamins, like I said. I like the formula though. This formula is bomb. It's not as creamy as like my Gucci matte lipsticks that I adore, but this still has a nice amount of slip to it. And I love how it has that velvety powder finish and it doesn't feel dry on the lips. So this is my next favorite. So this one ranks number two. And then my number one is the liquid lipstick, just because, like I said, I missed liquid lipsticks. It feels good on the lips. It wears well. It is a little bit drier once you wear for a few hours, but it lasts really nicely. So if you want to put on a lip and forget about it, this is the way to go. I wouldn't say though that it brought anything new to the table because I feel like this just picked up where liquid lipsticks left off. I don't think this formulation is anything that is breaking the mold. It's something like you've had before, but it's just new because it's from Gwen Stefani. It feels comfortable enough, but you still know it's a liquid lipstick, so it is just a little bit drier. So if you never liked liquid lipsticks, this one is not gonna be anything different than what you probably have already tried before. But if you do like liquid lipsticks and you like red liquid lipsticks, this one is cute. I like it. I like this first endeavor from Gwen Stefani. I think it's very Gwen. The only thing that I was surprised that she didn't give us was a liquid liner and a red lip liner. I felt like that was noticeably missing from this initial launch, but it is what it is. It's an initial launch. Not everybody's going to come out with a full blown line like Fenty or Rare Beauty. So I appreciate a smaller, more condensed line for her to come out with things that she loves and hopefully grow from there. So I like these pieces enough to purchase more from the line in the future. I feel like everything was carefully selected. It looks like something that Gwen Stefani would wear, so it's true to her. And I like that it's accessible in so many Sephora's across the country. I'm gonna see what else they give, give by Gwen. I especially want her to give us some more of those eyeliners because that formula, 
that just shocked me i wasn't ready you know sometimes you're ready and sometimes you're not but gwen was like ready or not here i come so let me know what you all think about this line down in the comment section did you try anything are you interested in anything are you a gwen stefani fan let a girl know and i'll check you all in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye